guys, I'm back for another video today and I just got back from a work trip and I figured instead of doing what I normally do, which is as soon as I get home, take off of my clothes and put on pajamas, I thought I would uh, take this opportunity and just do a quick what's in my work bag. And yeah, let's get started. Kind of excited to show you because this is a really unusual work bag. It is this thing. It is a canvas duffel and it does have a you know it's not like super big let me see i don't know if this is still in shot i'm filming this with my iphone 7 plus and using the non non front facing mirrors or front facing camera side so i'm using the better camera um, but as a result i don't have a viewfinder and don't know what's going on so hopefully you have a good perspective of how big this is relative to my body it is tie-dyed <laughs> black and white canvas um, yeah <laughs> really unusual for a work bag but I love it it is I like the fact that it's kind of unusual and you know people are always giving me compliments on this bag surprisingly I don't work in an environment that's super business formal if it was business formal this would probably not be okay but because it's a more business casual kind of environment uh, stuff like this or anything that's a little bit more quirky is totally fine. So I've had this now for two years and I switched between this one and a tote as, as far as like my daily grinder but uh, I do love this guy because I don't know it's just so cool and unique. So the bag is by Cook and Gates and so Cooking Gates is a duo that is based out of Brooklyn and they just do tie-dye canvas and make bags and totes and stuff. I don't know if they're still in operations, to be quite honest, um, but if they are, I will link below. Okay, so first of all, oh yeah, I do have this little fur poof here. Um, I know, I feel kind of like basic for following with this poof trend, but it's just, it is really cute. And this guy is so freaking soft. PETA is going to have a field day with me, but I do love fur, although, yeah, I'll try to avoid doing it in the future, but this is just really soft and really nice. Sorry. Sorry, animals. Sorry, PETA. I feel really bad because I do love animals. Alright, <laughs> ignore, ignore my hypocrisy and inconsistencies, and let's get into what's in the bag. So, you know, because it is a giant duffel like this, it's not really the most well organized inside and um, yeah it's kind of just a big dump bag and things do get lost but you'll see that I have a ton of pouches inside which helps keep things kind of organized and let me, oh, let me just show you front and back so it's kind of you know totally unique design the front does have this addition of this little pocket here which is really handy all right so first off I have this pouch. This is um, a Cole Haan pouch, which is actually just a uh, toiletries bag that I received on a business class flight uh, earlier in the year. And so but it's great for all my like electronic stuff. So in here I have my iPhone charger and this thing is amazing. I just got it from Amazon. It's not the best quality, but it's six feet long. So if you ha if you don't like the kind of short little cables that come with your iPhone, this thing is great and it's super, um, the actual wire itself is really durable. Yeah, so I just said that and then my computer charger and whatever electronics in here. Uh, next up I have my little Fendi Monster crayons pouch. Uh, and this is, a, this is a key pouch, so I have my, just my house key in here. I don't need to carry my um, car keys because I actually, you know, because I'm traveling for work, I just take a cab or an Uber rather to the airport and back. So I just keep house keys in here. And it also has some like backup cards and whatever little miscellany in there. Uh, this guy I've had for a few months now and <laughs> It is really cute. It is kind of expensive and I don't really know if it's worth it, but I had a gift card for Saks and used it on this thing. So yeah, my little key bag. Next, another airplane <laughs> giveaway pouch. Uh, this is Mary Mecco for Finnair. 
and this was just in coach class. So yeah, on, on international carriers in coach, you actually do get little pouches, unlike for um, domestic carriers. So in here, I have some like backup stuff. So I have some tampons and sleeping masks, um, panty liners, <laughs> head or earbuds for noise cancellation if I'm trying to sleep and it's in a hotel room that I'm unfamiliar with or is really noisy, etc. A face mask and those ear cancelling or noise cancelling headphones, earbuds, excuse me, are really important. So that's this guy. Then another little pouch. Uh, this one actually my friend made. I, it is a cool fabric pouch. And in here I just have my uh, pens and pencils, etc. So the only thing I will really call out here is my fountain pen. And I love using fountain pens to write, you guys. I just, I love, I mean, it like actually compels me to write things down rather than just type them. Um, the way the ink flows, the fact that I can like put in whatever ink color I want. Uh, if you're interested in like finding out more about fountain pens, you know, there's definitely a ton of YouTube videos on it and I can also share with you in another video later, you know, where, which, which pen this is and how I fill it and refill it with ink and whatever, all that, all that jazz. So yeah, this is my little, oops, pens bag. Then, oh, gosh, this is really bad because I can't find the case for this, but I have a pair of sunglasses. And these are gentle monster sunglasses and I just wipe them down a little bit because they're really dirty and thankfully not too scratched up. Um, they're just big black all over face covering shades. Yeah. I'm looking in the mirror if you're wondering what I'm doing because I don't have a viewfinder with my iPhone here. Um, yeah, I don't know if they look so great on me. Feel free to leave me hate in the comments if you are so inclined. Uh, but I do like them because they cover so much of my face and I can just be anonymous and, <laughs> and not have to talk to anyone. So always good to have that in um, on an airplane if you are feeling tired and don't want to be chit chatty with your seatmates. All right, next. So as I mentioned, I because I have you know that little handy fountain pen, I actually am inclined to write. And so this is just a pretty boring moleskin. And my favorite notebooks are the Lucturum, or how, I, don't, I have no idea how you pronounce it, that German company. But uh, when I was buying these on Amazon, and these are from Amazon, those were like crazy expensive. It, it's so weird how they, all of these notebooks just fluctuate in price so much. So these were a good, really good deal when I got them. I really prefer the soft cover kind uh, as opposed to hard cover. And so these were only like 12 or $13 when I got them on Amazon. And unlike, you know, the bullet, <laughs> bullet agenda people, I definitely do like to make little lists for myself, such as like this where I have boxes. These are all unchecked, unfortunately. Um, but it's definitely not like a bullet journal that's really neat. This is super messy and just like very much whatever is on it to do. I just like kind of jot it down in here real quick. All right, and I think that's like kind of the bulk of all my pouches um, as far as in the main compartment. So the only thing really I have left is my laptop. And this is my work laptop. So it is a ThinkPad, Lenovo ThinkPad. I have a MacBook Pro for my personal computer, but this guy is cool because, let me just <laughs> wipe it down a little bit. It is cool because um, it folds totally over, and this is actually a touch screen, and it comes with a little stylus. So you know those commercials where they, <laughs> where they have those like creative people and they're like, oh, I could never do this with my MacBook. Well, this isn't one of the ones that are in the commercials, it's not a Surface Pro or anything, but it definitely has that functionality. Uh, and it is kind of cool, I have to say. I'm sure Mac will come out with something like this very soon. It's, it's probably in the works right now to compete. But um, in the interim, it is a kind of a cool little, little nifty tool. 
So that is the main compartment. Oops, I forgot to show you this thing, which I had actually taken out of my work bag as soon as I got home to check up on my makeup before filming the video, but this is actually always in my work bag as well. It's just my uh, daily kind of on-the-go makeup. So inside, I can show you. So inside I've just got some EOS chapstick, some mascara, other things I like to have on the fly, like some translucent powder, <laughs> concealer, etc. So yeah, that's it. Nothing, nothing all too exciting. I will definitely, I can definitely do a what's in my makeup bag at some point, but this is just my like daily carrier bag. All right, that's it. And then what is in here? The main thing that was missing from my main compartment, which you're probably wondering, is like, where is her wallet? I don't really carry a big wallet. I have one, but I don't really use it because I switch bags so often and some of my bags are really small and some of them are bigger. Uh, so I like to just use this little card case. Oh no, I just noticed this card case has some scratches on it. Oh, that's really sad. <laughs> uh, okay, anyway, that's that. Okay, so this card case is from... It's super cool. I think it's gorgeous design. It is from uh, Frank Lloyd Wright House. And so I was in a Sedona like a few weeks ago with some friends and we flew into Phoenix and on our way driving up to Sedona, we popped into Taliesin West, which is one of Frank Lloyd Wright's like main home grounds. So he had Taliesin, Taliesin East and Taliesin West and the west one was where they spent their winter months and the east is located in Wisconsin. And so in their little gift shop they have all these Frank Lloyd Wright things and this is just a really cool um, design from another Frank Lloyd Wright house, Roby House, in Chicago. Uh, and I just thought it was beautiful and I bought it from the, from the gift shop there. And it's intended to be used for business cards but I actually think it's perfect for like just my like main main things like some credit cards and um, like two credit cards and then my ID so this is all I need and this was not an international trip so I didn't need a passport or anything you just really need your driver's license to fly domestically so that's that and I never carry cash if it's not obvious um, I do like to have some ones if I'm staying in a hotel. This time I just had some ones like in one of my other pouches that you've already seen, which was not like the most smart way to operate, but um, it, it did work. All right, next up are my headphones, which the adapter for the jack, since the new iPhone which I'm using to film does not have the headphone jack is attached to the, to the iPhone right now, so I don't have that on here, but um, yeah, just some little headphones. These were great, they're super cheap from Amazon. The brand is <sighs> Xiaomi, which is a Chinese, like, um, basically like, how do you describe it? It's like really cheap products, but really well designed. So they're trying to imitate Apple in terms of design, or not, maybe not imitate, but because their stuff doesn't look like Apple stuff, but they're trying to, you know, appeal to that kind of consumer who cares about well-designed products. And so they have like phones, earbuds, etc. But their price point is super low. The point is, those earbuds are really cheap, like twenty dollars on Amazon, and they're really great quality. You just want to be careful that you don't get knockoffs, because believe it or not, there are knockoffs of earbuds that are only twenty dollars to begin with. Okay, next antibacterial hand sanitizer when you're on a plane yeah that's really important okay then I have oh some lotion which I always like to have in fact I will use some now because my hands are so dry um, just from a hotel and uh, another great to have just anywhere in any bag then I have my oil control strips or films. Um, my face is really oily, if that isn't already clear, abundantly clear to you. But this is like a must have for me. 
And then I just have an old boarding pass and some trash, excuse that. Uh, yeah, a sticker. More trash. Okay. And that's, that's it. I, I hope I got this like random crap in here as well. Alright, and let me just show you the, um, the logo for this bag. It's kind of cool. So yeah, it says, can you see that? Cooking Gates. Hot pink inside of the bag. So, this is effectively like a speedy or a keep all. Like a really large CD or a small key ball. I don't know which what size this would be most like in terms of in Louis Vuitton world. Um, but it is just perfect. Like I have no desire for a Louis Vuitton version of this. I think this is just you know a great little bag. It wasn't expensive. Um, I like the fact that it was supporting independent designers. Okay, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.